Hey, I'm Jess. When I was a kid, I was not a dinosaur kid, but after reading The Age of Dinosaurs by Steve Brusati, I think I'm going to become a dinosaur adult. Is that a thing? Can you be that? Because there's no way that my friends won't be hearing dinosaur facts the next time we hang out. They're just gonna have to because dinosaurs are amazing. I love this kind of middle grade nonfiction. It's great for kids in junior high, but it's also good for adults who wanna know more about a topic, but maybe don't wanna dedicate themselves to a 400 page book, or maybe don't wanna have to wade through jargon. Books like this are perfect. It's gonna tell you tons of great facts. It's not going to assume you already know a lot about the subject. You just get to open it up, walk in, spend you know a couple hours with it, and then leave knowing more. So I love reading middle grade and YA nonfiction on topics I'm curious about. And wow, are dinosaurs interesting? Um, I had no idea, but they're discovering new species of dinosaurs every week. Every single week they find a new dinosaur species, which is just bananas. Um, so what Steve does, he's a paleontologist and he walks you through the age of dinosaurs. So right when they get started all the way up to where they all died out due to a large asteroid hit. Now, except for birds, because birds are 100% dinosaurs, he's going to prove to you why, but what we know of as dinosaurs, he walks you all the way up to their sad end. Um, and along the way, you get to learn so many things. So things like brontosaurus, they could be as gigantic as they are for lots of reasons, including the fact that they had special air sacs. So every time they took in a breath, they got two lungfuls worth of oxygen. Isn't that amazing? Um, there's a bunch on the T-Rex, which is great because the T-Rex is incredibly epic. And he talks about how they had such a strong bite that their bite was the same as dropping a pickup truck on top of an animal. They would crush the bones of their prey. He talks about how their arms are short. Like that's kind of that joke, right? And he said, well, they didn't need long arms. They're not using them for hunting. They're using them to hold the prey in place while their jaw does the work. So you get to find out information like that. Um, he talks about all the different discoveries and actually one of the things they really appreciate about this book is that throughout the story he highlights different paleontologists and he'll talk about a discovery they made, he'll talk about some um, way that they had an impact on the field and he does a really good job of balancing out um, examples that are men and examples that are women. So lots of times it's really uh, like male heavy but this one that's not the case. So I think that's really good and a couple times he flat out says that women are as important as men in this field. And those are the things you wanna see. So I like the way it's presented. I like the way it's written. I like that as you read, you can just tell that he still has this awe of dinosaurs. He's been studying them for decades and yet it's still an amazing thing. And they are. Sometimes it's just, it's something else knowing that dinosaurs, these just epic creatures roam the world that we live in too. And I love reading books like this because they just give you things to think about and what's better than that. So great for middle grade, great for adults to The Age of Dinosaurs by Steve Rusati. It's so good. I hope my friends are prepared to hear about dinosaurs because I will be talking about them. <laughs>